Let's make the image a bit simpler by getting rid of the person throwing the ball and drawing our coordinate system at the location where the ball will be thrown from, which is point A. Now, we can write down what we know. Total time is 2.5 seconds. The starting location of the ball in the x-axis, which is xA, is 0 meters. The final location of the ball, xB, is 50 meters. From our coordinate system, the location of the ball where it starts from in the y-direction, which is yA, is 0 meters. The final location in the y-axis, which is yB, is negative 1.2 meters. Let's not forget about gravity in the y-direction. So A is equal to negative 9.81 meters per second squared. The last two things we need to consider is the velocity in the x-direction and y-direction. Velocity in the x-direction is VA cos theta, and in the y-direction, it's VA sine theta. Now we just need the equations. Let's assume going right is positive and going up to be positive. We will write two equations, one for the motion in the horizontal direction and one for the motion in the vertical direction. For the horizontal motion, we will use this equation. We can write it with our own variables like this. Let's substitute what we know in. So we have the following equation. Let's leave that for now and write an equation for the vertical motion. For this, we will use the following equation. As before, we can write it with our own variables and then substitute what we know in. Now we have two equations. We can solve them. Don't forget, sine theta over cos theta is equal to tan theta. So now we have our final answers. I hope this helped you, and if there are ways to make these videos better, please let us know. If you have a question, comment below and thanks for watching. Good luck with your studies.